Well, Fat Joe recently mm-hmm. uh, did Club Shay Shay. Yeah. And he talked about you. Okay. Did you watch the clip? No, I, I didn't see it. He said something interesting. <clears throat> he was talking about the beef. Shay Shay need to interview me. No yeah, fuck. you should what? go on that show. What? I don't think he'll ever interview me, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> you know, never say never, man. Uh, but I'd be down to do it one day, you know, mm-hmm. whatever issues Yeah, because last me. time it, it was the Khaled, when Khaled was up there, when that radio, yeah. when we had that situation. All right, so basically what Fat Joe said, there's a couple interesting things mm-hmm. about you. He said that he would trade his, he would trade his right-hand man, rich player, for Tony Yayo based on the amount of loyalty he's seen you give to 50. Right. Yeah. You say as loyal as his right hand man Rich, is, and Rich he says is, your loyalty goes way beyond it. He'll actually trade. <laughs> yeah, Rich, shout to Joe. Joe is my guy. And Rich is and Rich is my guy too. So right there. But I, I don't know. You know, it's like, I think loyalty is just something you can't buy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if, if you know, I never, like, a man, my, one of my, and it could, it could be besides 50s, other friends I got too. Like, one of my friends, like, I just say, yo, bro, you loyal to me, you do mad shit for me. Yo, when I ask you do this, do that, assistant, I'm like, yo, bro, let's go court side to the game. Mm. You know, I take him court side and let him get that experience. He never been to a court side game. We court side at the Knicks game. That's my assistant, Hollywood. He helped me with mad shit. My father had heart attacks. He fucking drove to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? Hospital wasn't too far, like shit like that. So it's not only loyal to fifth. It's loyal to any nigga that's around me, any friend that's around me. Yeah. It's just being appreciative. But, like, even Fat Joe. I love Fat Joe. Never had a beef with him. It was just, you know, some shit that happened. And, you know, for him to say that, I appreciate him. Yeah. And, you know, I love Rich. I got love for him, too. Pistol Pete. We had beef with these guys. And, like, it was risk-taking. It was like, risk your life. But all I know was 134 and God Brewer and South Jamaica, Queens. So for the nigga that brought me in the game... Of course, I'm going to always be appreciative. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know what I'm saying? That's just, it's mandatory. I, I could meet other niggas in the game. You know, I done met niggas, Kanye, all type of niggas in the game. But this the nigga that I came in the game with. Mm-hmm. So that, my love is always going to be for 50. My moms even used to be like, yo, 50, 50 is the type of nigga he'll come in the room and he could make the whole room. My moms used to be like, yo. 50, take take Yale and, and his brother with him. Because she knew where he was destined to be just off a of conversation. Nice. He was just different. And everybody's different. Right. I told you, one thing that always came to me, I always listened to was Shout to Shaka. Shaka Zulu from ATF. And I took this from Columbia days. And he said, success never comes in the masses when it came with Luda. Because at that point, Luda was like the biggest thing in ATL. And he's like a legend and ATL doing movies and shit like that. And I was like, yo, listen, just play your position. Whatever position God puts you in, just be happy to be in it. Everybody can't fucking make the same money. There's only going to be one Jay-Z. There's mm-hmm. going to be one 50. There's going to be one uh, fucking... Uh, Eminem. Eminem. Mm-hmm. There's going to be, you know what I mean, one Dr. Dre. You know, one Ice Cube, one Tupac. Uh-huh. 